newsflash. Petticoni's Charmony Festival has entered its countdown phase. Accompanied by Clocky's TikToks, after 12 system hours, this grand celebration will commence with much fanfare. Uh, I already told you! We can talk things out! <laughs> I'm sorry, Fluffy. I really have something urgent to attend to, so... I had no choice but to resort to asking this favor of you all. Since you already know what you're doing, I'll also have to remind you of its risks. Hey, partner, what's with the hostility? I thought pulling this thing out was just a way of saying hello. For the last time, state your identity and purpose. My name's Boot Hill. And I'm a Galaxy Ranger. A Galaxy Ranger? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> Did you think we all went extinct? <laughs> well, that's the price you pay for being off-grid for too long. The righteous heroes of the hunt would never hijack the Astral Express. <laughs> I ain't hijacked anything. <laughs> What, chatting with someone while holding the gun is considered a hijacking? Huh, it probably is. Pardon my frankness, but there are plenty of rumors in the cosmos regarding the Galaxy Ranger's current status. And none of them are pretty stories. I have a hard time believing you. Oh, <laughs> this is hilarious. The tale that this bunch of fools spin is getting out of hand. There's even a bit about the Galaxy Rangers being turned into Gibbons by Dr. Primitive and they're in some valley screwing around on swings. Of course, I know you won't believe me, which is also why, similarly, I have a hard time believing that you're the real Nameless. See the bullets in this gun? Nine millimeter, an eternal classic. I may need the Astral Express's help right now, but if you're an imposter just like that one, <laughs> then this bullet might just end up in my head. I can't allow myself to be exposed to danger. That's just the way it goes, so you all have to first prove yourselves. Huh? Uh, where are you going? Hmm. Recognize this? <laughs> it's a model fudger. The Jade Abacus of Ally and Oath. The CN Joe really gave this to you guys? Hmm, model fudger? This is the Jade Abacus gifted to the Express by the Xian Zhou Luo Fu's general, Jing Yuan. Its presence on board serves as the Xianzhou Alliance's official recognition of the Express. Is that enough? <sighs> Not bad, kiddo. And across these sprawling stars, a gentle squeeze is all it takes to rustle up a whole legion of cloud knights. Now, I reckon that'd be one fudging sight to behold. Hmm. <laughs> Now it's your turn. Been ages since the Galaxy Rangers had the spotlight shown on them. And we ain't equipped with such fancy gadgets. But I've been around the block enough to know the way to handle these types of situations is easy as pie. All right then, feel free to toss any questions my way. And let's see if my answers can't turn your trust. If your gut tells you otherwise, Still ain't too late to show me the door. And why would I play along? If I truly am a real Galaxy Ranger, you stand to lose nothing. <laughs> All right then. Tell me, what kind of organization are the Galaxy Rangers? Ah, <laughs> oh, my friend, this question is a hard one. I don't think I can even consider us an organization to begin with. Everyone's on their own fated path along the hunt, with their own resolute sense of righteousness and not so welcome among such so-called universal values. <sighs> this reply does not instill trust, and only makes your predicament more 
precarious. I'm guessing you're gonna ask about some form of shared faith, right? But us Galaxy Rangers don't need that sort of thing. What brings us together is a shared bottom line. Never bully the weak. Never kill the innocent. These oaths aren't some lofty beliefs, but the fundamental bottom line that one must never cross as a person. As Galaxy Rangers, we strictly adhere to the bottom line. When someone crosses them, the hunt's vengeance will surely come knocking. And in this moment, the other crucial meaning of bottom line comes into play. As long as you don't cross it, you're free to do whatever you please. You catch my drift? Hmm. Second question. Why do you seek trouble with the Astral Express? I already said that I seek no trouble. I must go to Pinnacone for a matter. But I don't have an invite. And I can't even enter the family's hotel doors. If only I could borrow the Nameless's identity. Uh, the entire cosmos knows your guests of the family. Uh, aren't the Galaxy Rangers also esteemed guests? Oh, you've hit the nail on the head. This is why I'm here. It's fine if I tell you. The Rangers are pursuing an imposter. A son of a nice lady posing as one of us. She's on Pentacone right now. My informant is a memo keeper. She's the same as all mimetic organisms, uh, appearing one moment and gone the next. Uh, she scares the fudge out of me. Still, she gave me some vital info. That Galaxy Ranger imposter. Who is it? Is that the third question? Is it a hard question? It isn't. Just that you might not believe me. That person calls herself Acheron. And according to our informant, she could be an emanator of nihility. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> That's what I said. Uh, don't worry. When I first received the news, I had the exact same reaction as you. IX never gives anyone so much as a first glance, and that's perfectly normal. What reason would they have to bequeath strength unto mortals? Then you must know that emanators can also conceal their own identities, which, for many people, it's better that way. Otherwise, there'd be wanton bloodshed across the cosmos, or even, perhaps, turning their back on the path they're supposed to follow. I had the good fortune of running into an elation emanator. Its appearance was no different than that of those clowns. If it weren't through sheer luck that I got it drunk, I would have never known of its eminent status. Even in the purest hunt, you'll find the Sienjo Alliance under the spotlight and galaxy rangers lurking in the shadows. Paths are inevitably concepts created by people, and exist in planes beyond our understanding. To reckon that nihility emanators don't exist, well, maybe we just ain't nihilistic enough. <sighs> so, do you understand now? Your companions are in danger, and it's pretty harrowing. If you don't want to believe me, you'd best send a message to him, but I'd advise you to move fast. We don't know what's happening in the dreamscape or how much of what the memo keeper said is true. And that Acheron, who knows what she intends to do. I don't intend to do anything. That's not up to you. Did you know? People who come to the land of dreams for the first time, they'll subconsciously stop to reaffirm that they're still walking on solid ground. And then they will unanimously raise their heads to gaze at the sky. Be it reality or dream, staring at the sky is instinctual for humanity. 
since the day that the golden hour was completed. It's always been there. Watching over every single night of decadence. But now this night sky has been mercilessly severed. Died with the mist of nihility. And this whole event happened within the course of a single slash of a blade. A single slash of a blade isn't really accurate. It was actually two blades, just that the second one was faster. That's not the point. Many guests who weren't supposed to be invited have gathered at this banquet. Even if the harmony is all embracing, I have no choice but to show some of them the door. For the sake of Panacone and the peace. The planet of festivities has no place for you, a puppet of nihility. Those who live in the shadows do not bear the right to dread the illuminated stage. Speaking of living in the shadows, there's probably not much difference between us. It's only polite to reveal your true self, at least when speaking to others. Panacone's dream master. <laughs> That's, That's just another, another reason that, that you can't stay. stay. Whether you believe it or not, this is the real me. We are one. Is this the unity that the family espouses? My mortal shell has long since dissipated. The Oak family's 107,336 offspring are now my eyes, ears, and mouths, spreading joy across dreams when required. And in times of essential need, exiling evil from this haven in my stead. From the sound of it, it seems like you're asking me to leave, Panacone. That you're an understanding one. Alas, I'm not asking. If you think you can. Are you threatening me? <laughs> I ended it with a period. It was a statement, not a threat. Knowing who I am and still showing such malice. You're not the first, nor will you be the last. This scene played out many times before. And usually, when faced with my questions, most people retort, Why can't I? The result has invariably been that they can't. You are confident. But be reminded, the family is forgiving, but not weak. The cords of the 137 individuals. That is how many heathens I have exiled since I became Dream Master. Among them were those who once severed my wings, and those who immolated my body. And here I stand again, about to add another mark to the tally. And you will die. I mean, all of you will. <sighs> but that won't come to pass. I'll do as you ask. I'll leave. A wise choice. I wasn't aware there was a choice. To you, that surely is the only option. Please bear in mind, you and Panacone are of different worlds. Those born on a far bank can't
cannot seek solace across the river. Leave and never return. The radiance of the planet of festivities is overwhelmingly bright, luring in tricksters, wrongdoers, and criminals. But even the harmony itself will never welcome the self-annihilator of nihility. And even more so, when this self-annihilator heralds the destruction of everything. Your strength is obviously a gift of the sleeping and shapeless, immeasurable and fathomless, like a tributary spawned from the abyss that brings death and sin to all. Acheron, a befitting name. Take it from someone on the other side of your so-called river. You know better than I do that Panacone has already deviated from the Harmony. Whatever your intentions may be, I foresee only one outcome. Its future holds nothing but nihility. Just like all the worlds that have drowned in their shadow. malfunction at Clock Studios theme park. The family has promptly responded to secure the area, and we're happy to report that there have been no injuries. Oh, I swear that was no movie shoot. So many chips fell from the sky, and I even caught one of them. But it vanished in an instant before my very eyes. Excuse me, are you talking about the Clock Studios theme park incident? Hmm? Yeah, what about it? it oh. M Miss Robin, am I seeing things right? <laughs> no need to worry. I apologize for any inconvenience caused to your delightful dream journey. But you just mentioned about the chips really piqued my interest. Would you mind providing more details about the incident? Oh, it was just those chips you normally see everywhere. The green ones? They fell from the sky as if it were raining. And then those chips simply disappeared. Uh, it appears to be the dream sim tech the Iris family has been developing. Huh? Miss Robin, you mean those chips were all part of a performance? B but I really... Shh. This technology hasn't been made public yet. It was originally planned to debut at the Charmony Festival, but it seems it's been leaked. Can you help me keep this secret? The raining chips were supposed to be part of my act. Oh, I see. Then it all makes sense now. I'll do anything to help make the Charmony Festival a success. Thank you. As appreciation, I'd like to give you a token gift. Oh, this button is... Press it at just the right moment in the celebration. There could be an unexpected treat in store for you. All right, it looks like there are other guests who are also confused. I'll have to excuse myself. Please, enjoy the dreamscape. So many people talking about it. This commotion at the theme park definitely made waves. They would protect the guests within the dreamscape, but I witnessed a group of organic life forms making their way to the theme park. And soon after, a rip tore through the sky, and black rain started leaking out of the void. The family needs to provide a reasonable explanation, or I'll take my loved ones and return to reality. I thought the dreamscape was supposed to be a paradise. If it's not, then there's no point staying here. It appears the good sir has seen many great events. And it's true that an uninvited guest has unexpectedly entered the dreamscape. However, 
Their target is not the ordinary guests, but the ambassadors of the IPC. The family will certainly ensure that the safety of the guests is of the highest importance. Miss Robin, I know the Bloodhound family has already sealed off the theme park and has control over the situation, but it won't resolve the problem. The family can try their best to protect their reputation, but as a guest, I don't wish to gamble with my life. But as you can see, sir, no innocent bystanders were affected in this incident. Perhaps the dreamscape is not as perfect as promised, but there's no place safer than dreams under the family's rule. I believe you know this better than I do. If this incident happened in real life, how many people would be able to walk away from it? I could stay here, but keep in mind, guests come to Penacone to enjoy the dreamscapes. They do not wish to be entangled in a conflict between the family and the IPC, so let's not have any more unnecessary incidents. Of course. With the Charmony Festival about to commence, we will spare no effort in our preparations. Rest assured! To express our apologies, the family has arranged this gift for the guests. Thank you for understanding. You've had quite a bit to drink. Hello. May I ask what happened here? Nothing to be worried about. There's been a small rehearsal mishap at Clock Studios Theme Park. Please stay calm. Hey, are you a fool? You don't even recognize Miss Robin? Who do you think you're talking to? Huh? I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I've just been transferred to the Bloodhound family, and, and I'm still not too used to working on the streets. I, I didn't realize it was you. I, I'm so sorry. Hey, don't sweat it. You guys have a tough job. I know how it is. How's the situation looking? Oh, we've sealed off the theme park. Most guests are used to bizarre phenomena in the dreamscape, and so far, no threats have been detected. We can expect order to be restored soon. Rest assured, Miss Robin will intensify our patrols to ensure that no incidents occur. I trust you guys. But regarding what happened in the theme park, what do you hounds think about it? It's okay. Feel free to speak your mind. Uh... Well... Actually, I was there shortly after it happened. Is it true that the IPC's ambassadors came with ill intent? And that Galaxy Ranger who easily cut through the sky? <sighs> Miss Robin, tell you the truth, everyone's been talking about it. The myriad factions on Pentacony have already been causing unease for everyone. Thank you all for your loyalty towards the family. The planet of festivities has indeed run into some trouble. The representative from the IPC... He's trying to regain ownership of Penacony and is prepared for a hostile takeover. Of course the family did not agree. The result of the failed negotiations... is as you see it now. No wonder. So this is the main reason why the IPC staff are banned from entering the dreamscape. Did they apprehend the troublemaker in the end? Don't worry. Mr. Sunday is currently tracking his whereabouts, and I'll have something to show for it soon. However, given the situation, the IPC surely won't let this go easily. Therefore, we are relying on you hounds to maintain the order and stability of the dreamscape. Please be assured, Miss Robin. We take our orders seriously. We won't let those IPC cronies get away with this. Thank you for your hard work. If there are any other members who still feel uneasy, please tell them on my behalf that protecting the dreamscape requires everyone's help. This is a small gift prepared by the Iris family for the guests. There's one for you too. Please, open it at the Charmony Festival for an unexpected surprise. I can't believe I received a gift from Miss Robin. It feels like I'm dreaming. Wait, I am in a dream. If trouble comes knocking on our door, we're not afraid to go to war. Rest assured, the Dreamscape's peace will be protected by the Bloodhound family. Hmm. 
Miss Robin? That's the renowned cosmic superstar, Miss Robin! I didn't expect to meet a fan here. I'm honored. Welcome to Pentagoni, a world filled with wonderful dreams. I can't believe I'm actually meeting the real Robin! Sh shouldn't you be preparing for the Charmony Festival? Preparation is important, but the ceremony is fundamentally about sharing the Great One's harmony with everyone. If there's a chance to sing with everyone, I will not refuse. Regarding the recent mishap, I understand it negatively impacted some of our guests. As a member of the family, it's only right for me to come forward and offer my apologies to everyone. But, uh, are you sure it was actually a mishap? Everyone saw those chips descending like rain and the red light tearing through the sky. Claiming it was merely special effects seems a bit far-fetched. Plus, I met that generous gentleman. He looked really out of it and kept talking to himself. Is this also part of the performance? Everyone, please do not panic. I believe that the family will give everyone a satisfactory answer in due time. Even if you say so, Miss Robin, it's hard to believe. <sighs> Some people just never listen, do they? It's never ending. It just goes on and on. I'm getting really tired of this. Miss Robin? Still, I suppose I should keep on helping everyone. I am the epitome of joy, kindness, and goodness, after all. Uh... Huh? What was I just doing? And, uh, who might you be, miss? Here, take this, little guest. This gift has been specially prepared for you by the family. Make sure to take good care of it until the opening of the Charmony Festival. Then, when the show reaches its climax, press the button together with the others around you. <laughs> you never know. Something very exciting might happen. We're back to where it all began. You entered the golden hour from this place. And it is also from here where you will enter the true Pentagoni. It is a pleasure to journey alongside you once more. But it's time. I'm fine. Sorry, I hope I haven't scared you. I know you have many questions. Do you remember when we encountered death in that strange dreamscape? When I was caught by that meme? In that instant before it killed me? I saw the reflection of another dreamscape in its ghastly pupils. So, following the clues in the script, I came up with some theories about the meme. That's why I instructed Silverwolf to issue invitations. Drawing everyone to the Dreams Hotel. I intended to call upon death before you arrived. To solve the riddle using more direct means. And then invite you to join. However, contrary to my wishes, I couldn't defy the script. And I, I didn't get a chance to explain it to you. It is how you see now. I was impaled by the bladed wings of death. The heavy pressure of concentrated memoria miasma it exploded in my mind as if it was actually reality. But after the momentary numbness subsided, I found that my body was absolutely unscathed. I was still alive. And it was just as I thought. I, I had arrived at a place starkly different from this beautiful dream. Beneath the dreamscape of Pentaconi lies another, more chaotic, more primal memory zone. Its name? Land of the Exiles. And so, uh, then I returned to the hotel in the dreamscape, hoping to tell you of its existence. Yet I, 
I, I could not reveal my own identity. So I could only divert your party's attention and lure you away from the battlefield. And after... All my attempts proved futile. It wasn't until not long ago when a crimson blade of light shattered the high wall of the dream, causing you all to fall far into the abyssal depths of the dreamscape, that I was able to awaken you and your companions one by one. And, and that's it. That is all that's happened so far. I know it's tough to believe all this without reservations. I just want to say, you are very close to the final answer. Just one more thing needs to be done. And then I can prove it to you. Now, let's leave this place. Please close your eyes. Take a deep breath. And visualize the dreamscape's outline in your heart. And remember, you must not open your eyes at all times. Three, two, one. Don't be afraid. The one who has come to greet us has arrived. city of sins <laughs> no it's nothing I'm just thinking that you haven't slept in 20 system hours are you sure you're okay I'm fine I'll survive same goes for you <laughs> I'm not so sure about that slow down a bit infiltration is over Feel free to activate Sam anytime you like. There's still some time before the next part of the script unfolds. Let me stay a little longer in this body. Such a long time. Didn't feel this long when I set off. In half a system hour, it will lead us to Kafka. And then comes the downfall of the Japella Brotherhood. It, is that also part of the script? It's in your script, too. Sorry. I didn't notice. <laughs> Their destiny won't change just because of your selective ignorance. I told you before, it's a bad habit. What about you then? Is this the moment you finally find the death you've been looking for? As always, it's a blank slate. It's not on this planet. Why the sudden inquiry? Because I'm currently in a car with a sleep-deprived driver. I just want to get there in one piece. This car has full self-driving capabilities. I'll just put my hand on the steering wheel. Will that do? <laughs> hey, don't take everything so seriously. Elio would always say there's only one type of destiny. The inescapable type. He can see the future, and we... likewise are aware of our predetermined end. But before that moment arrives, we can still choose what we do. 
We all have this right, don't we? After today, Chapella's name will disappear from cosmic history, and the Everflame Mansion will take its place. In the not-too-distant future, you'll receive an invitation. That's your next stop. Land of the Dreams. Panacone. I hope you find whatever you seek there. Be it answers, or salvation. Glad to see you're safe and sound. Close your eyes. This is the answer. Isn't it incredible? The monster that we have always known as Death is actually the guardian of the Land of the Exiles. It abides by a certain rule. Abducting people from their dreams and bringing them here. The question that has been perplexing us, does death really exist in the dreamscape, appears to be a cognitive trap. It was laid by those orchestrating events from the shadows to cover up the truth behind the disappearances and the existence of this fortress known as Dreamflux Reef. Every emergence of that meme is related to the Watchmaker. Since Dreamflux Reef is where it brings its captives, it's likely that many of our long-standing questions will be answered in this place. The atmosphere here is starkly different from the beautiful dream. There are no regulators here like the family. And they all look like they're mildly dazed. But from the whispers of the residents, I've heard a familiar name. It's that man again. Always in the right place at the right time. <laughs> Though that does save us the trouble of looking for him. Himiko and March have already made a move. Get ready. We're about to set off. The real dreamscape. The land of the exiles. Before we go, should we speak to everyone first? <laughs> 